All right, everyone, it's Minato here, and today we're going to take a look at STR Namek Goku in the Omega Shenron difficult boss event here. So we have him instantly transformed. It's turn three. We're getting a little unlucky here, but hopefully this luck will be able to start turning around soon. I think I'm going to heal. This unit has not been able to get a stack here. This is a friend, I think. Um. So yeah, I mean, STR Namek Goku here. Um... He really needs to stack. I think that's a really important thing. I mean, we're just hopping straight into it. So, is this his guard activate? No. He did not get his guard. Um, so, Namagoku, on a super attack effect, he does raise defense permanently, but he also does lower attack, which can be applicable here, which is really good. I really wish that additional super attack went through, but now we're going to be able to, like, we're going to be able to nullify a little bit of the damage we usually would have been able to take right there. And then on top of that, we're getting a 30% raise on our defense. Since we were able to transform with him so early, I think we could realistically have a really good showing of Nam and Goku in this situation. Because I feel like we're going to be able to get a bunch of stacks here. This team is not really, I wouldn't say it's like more defensive built, but I think it's not like the most offensive heavy team ever, right? Okay, so we have Tech Gohans here that's okay with the with that i'll i'll be fine with that i think with this i'm gonna heal with you blue evolution is actually oh well, it's not good actually uh whoop i messed up already so let's see what happens <laughs> i would say hopefully supers not in the back or blue evolution maybe three of the additionals right they could all be supers that would be pretty good i messed up though really badly right here um, if I die, it do be like that, but we'll see what happens. I mean, Omega Shenron could be quite annoying with his three tries per day, right? So I would hate to have to keep hopping back in and out. No guard, so with you. Additional super. No additional super attack here. He didn't super last turn, so I'm assuming he's super in here. Yeah, I should put Tech Gohan in the back. That is on me. We're taking over this, though, still. Okay, he's debuffed. So maybe I don't die. <laughs> um, maybe we'll see. Ouch. No, we're good. Okay, see, we're perfectly fine. Yeah, see, see, I told. We're good. The debuff really came in clutch right there, though. I don't want to revive here. That would suck. The rage mode, huh? Okay, that's crazy. I really don't want to revive here, so I'm not going to. I'm going to keep mine and stack. And then, I, again, I have to heal here, right? I mean, not really much of a choice uh, in terms of healing, but we should be good from here on out. No guard, so yeah. There's that medium chance kicking in. Let's go. I love medium chance guard, man. <laughs> it's this whole video just going to be me trashing him. I mean, Dynamic Goku could be good, especially if you're able to stack up the defense with him. I think you can get some pretty respectable defensive heights for sure. See, the double super right there, that's so helpful. This is why I would recommend going full additional with this guy. Because, again, he has permanent 30% defense stacks. And his defense stack, again, starts pretty high up there. On top of that, he'll also be able to debuff certain enemies like this phase right here. Now we're... I'm pretty sure we won't die to the Sun Mega Shen right now. Even if he supers these guys because... They keep on... They don't have their guard active here because we're under that HP threshold. Which is a little annoying, but... Soon I'll get this guy over to the other rotation and we'll be good. A little, again, this video started off just super wonky, but we should be good starting from here. Given he doesn't like, you know, instantly he one-shot me here, but I think we're good. Uh, you right, Goku here. I think I'll float Tech Esther going off. How should I do this? I think I'll do this. We'll get this with you. We'll get this and Esther going should kill. Now Esther Ultima go on. He does support all allies by 50%, well, super class allies by 50% defense specifically. And then he does give super class entrusted what, and I believe it's entrusted will is the category name, right? Super class allies, he gives them 30% attack. So with that, he's able to actually really support the, you almost said UI Goku because he's dodging everything, but the Namek Goku, right? He's able to give some really strong support there. So that would be helpful if we just have Esther go ahead and floating around here. Tech Gohan is obviously not going to kill, but the stack right here is very helpful. And Aster Gohan might kill here, actually. The Aster one, obviously. Well, I sound really crazy. <laughs> okay. I said Aster Gohan to kill, right? The Aster one? Oh my goodness. Yeah. One more. 
No, okay. Guarding? He is guarding. Perfect. Okay, at the very least, we can get an extra stack here. That could be pretty helpful. Sweet. Maybe we'll get the guard activated here, too. So, what? He's at 400k defense already. Yeah. I think definitely by the time we get to the end of the event, he will be able to tank Omega Turn on normals for double digits, which is really all I could ask for, right? Nice. The guard is activated, too, right? So, now with the guard active here, we'll be able to get the guard for the next phase but of course my cord cut off again so i will skip ahead until we see namikoku all right this is gonna be a really good looking rotation for this guy he's gonna have every single link active he's got a few stacks in he has supports full passive he's at six okay that's a pretty high oh my goodness 662k now this is where he starts looking really really good right obviously um this is a little wanked here but it's not like a unrealistic rotation for this fight and we're pretty good everyone here is guarding right <laughs> um nothing really to worry about from here right so you're gonna get your extra attack boost and defense boost like that and you're actually gonna do a pretty solid attack stat 455 percent i mean this s dynamic goku is really really helpful for this guy so i mean on this rotation even without the guard Astero Namagoku does take double digits from Astero Omega's, uh, not Astero Omega's, the Omega Normal Tax. 9.1. I would say for sure in red zone stages, yeah, I could see this guy be really impressive if you're able to transform him super early, right? It depends on the stage, though. Like, this Omega Shinran stage can take a little bit of time to really get through. Like, well, like, we're on turn 9 here. Again, I did the Cell Max video, if you check it out if you haven't, but obviously Cell Max you can't really do that in. I'm not sure if it's going to be something we could do for future Red Zone stages, but, you know, at the very least this stage you could do it in. Probably the Full Power Frieza stage, I think you could definitely do that in as well. Probably not the Cooler stage, and Broly, he'd probably just get creamed, right? So that's the thing about that. Um, I mean, I'll just keep Tech Gohan in the front, just whatever. I'll get the Dogen attack with them too. Doesn't really matter who we get it with. And I'll get that with you. Again, the more showings we can for the Goku, the better. And we could actually see him heal a ton with orbs next turn because we can grab all those S orbs and be like, hey, and guess what? Once you build up his passive, well, actually, we're going to need the Dogen attack. It doesn't matter. But I, I was going to be like, obviously, once you build up most of his passive, you can obviously heal a ton with orbs, which is, I think, a really good thing this team does. Because, like, a lot of this team are just stacking units. So, you can heal so much with orbs. It's actually insane. My only gripe about this Esther and Amigoku is he doesn't keep on the family. I think that really does suck. Because, like, you know, Tech Gohan can really help with all the family, you know. And this LR doesn't have it either. It would have been helpful. Especially for, like, say, the Goku family team, right? Goku Gohan's team. I think you could have definitely have used this Namagoku on there. If he kept all in the family, which I think it's just a really strong defensive link that for some reason they're kind of just hesitant to release it to some Gokus, right? I mean, it is what it is, but I just think that like, honestly, if it was up to me, every Goku would get that link. It, it just, or just every Goku family, and it's just such a potent 25% defense link that can be really huge for these difficult content stages, right? All right. How are you looking here at Goku? We can get shocking speed here, but yeah, let's see which shocking speed you're, what you're at now. You're at 600k even without support. Again, he was at that defense level 660k with support. I guess this guy is kind of struggling with the um, not getting any stacks, but it's fine. It's not his showcase. It's the Namagoku showcase here. So we'll get one last stack here. And we we're not going to see if the guard activated or not. Uh, it would be cool. Should I put him in front of Omega Super and be like, hey, he tanked Omega Shinron Super Attack? Whoa. If we don't die here, that is. I mean, Esther Gohan. Ooh, Esther Ultimate Gohan. If he's not guarding, he's going to not be looking too hot here, is he? <laughs> yeah. Dude, if Esther Ultimate Gohan's not guarding, we'd lose. I think so, right? Look at this, and then I'll grab this. Well, let's hope he's guarding, or if he double supers i think we could survive two normals because i think one of those numbers at the end is going to be one of the countdowns right because he does count down twice 
I believe one of them is at the very end of the phase, basically, right? Obviously, these guys are going to take double digits. Omega Shuren can't super. So, okay. Yeah, I will... We'll see what happens, right? I think if we're guarding, obviously, we could tank the super attack, but we'll see. I mean, maybe I'll just put Nami Goku slot 1. Then, if all the attacks are in slot 2, we could have the other Goku in the middle tank it, right? Because even with, like, 300k defense with guard, he should be able to tank it, I'm assuming, right? We'll see. I mean... Again, it all depends on this guy. If you give me a double super, that would be so helpful. So please. He's guarding though. Okay, we're good. Woo! Again, that's kind of scary. Yeah, we would have lived. Alright, sweet. Um, should I just do this? I think I, I'll just do this, right? I Do I care about dying, really? No, I don't. So... Yeah, I mean, always we're gonna show he can take double digits from normals, and that'll be it. So, yep, 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 yep. yep. I wish I could get the revive here. That would be really cool. Oh, we're dead here, but I don't know. Let me know what you guys think of Namigoku in this phase, right? He didn't guard, so we wouldn't have lived anyways. But he could take double digits against Omega. Now, obviously, again, it's something you really have to build up to. What turn is this actually? Some people are gonna be like, "Oh my God, this is actually uh, turn 472," so it doesn't count, right? I guess I gotta put this guy at the end. Didn't really matter much. Well, his only. Because Namigoku's only defense link is what? Prepare for battle? Yeah, we could have got that. Yeah, turn 13, right? People are gonna. would probably get mad at that. Or not really mad, but like, oh, it's unrealistic. But I don't know. On this team, I feel like it's pretty realistic. Because it's just a bunch of stackers. Not really offensive based unit. But yeah, we're gonna die here. So I'll just end it. Let me know what y'all think of S tier Namigoku. I actually found him pretty impressive here. And I'll catch you in the next one.